Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. Today I'm actually working out and I thought I better start a vlog and I better vlog it. I just finished the last vlog that you would have seen so I could start off this one. And I'm not vlogging my workout because I want to prove to you guys I'm working out. It's more just to show like the balance in my life and the reason that I'm working out and like I guess my whole journey throughout ISO because I've obviously shared with you so far my lack of motivation, my stuffed up sleep schedule, my baking all these yummy treats that aren't necessarily very healthy. And yeah, I want to share with you the progress that I've made. So I'm slowly getting my sleep schedule back on track. I um, am making myself go to bed, like get turn the lights off, get into bed at like anywhere between 10 and 11, 11.30 max. Um, I'm still finding that it takes me about an hour to fall asleep just because I am on screens late at night and I'm not as super tired as I usually would be because I'm obviously not being really active and I'm on screens all day um, and I'm obviously not eating the most healthy food all of the time or just just what I would usually eat it's just nothing's really the same which is why I guess my sleeping would be so out of whack so yeah I'm going to bed at more of a normal time but still taking heaps longer to get to sleep than I usually would and then I am finding it a lot easier to wake up some days the last couple of days I've set an alarm for like 7 or 7 30 just to see if I'm already awake by that time or if that wakes me up and if I feel good at that time to get out of bed um, but usually when I set an alarm, I like subconsciously know that I've set an alarm and I always wake up before it anyway. So today I woke up at like, I don't know, I think it was like 6am, something really early. And I let myself fall back to sleep. Got out of bed at like 8.45 I think. After like going back to sleep a couple of times and going on my phone and stuff. So that part is still not like super perfect but the like time I'm in bed is getting better and not super ridiculous not from like 1am to 12pm the next day sort of thing so that's I'm proud of that um slowly working on it getting better each night which is all you can do um but yeah this morning and yesterday I've sort of been feeling a little bit blobby and I've noticed I'm getting a little bit chubbier than I usually am and that's not to say there's anything wrong with my physique at the moment it's just that I'm less fit than I usually like to keep myself at I guess and my, and my body composition is like not what it usually is when I'm being super active and healthy so yeah that's just something I've noticed personally and I noticed I did an Instagram story on this just then so if you recognize this whole situation I just did an Instagram story um, and I showed I'm wearing like these really flattering shorts from Gymshark which like suck you all in but my thighs and my hips are where I usually gain my weight first so I've noticed I've been getting a little bit thicker which um is like not I don't know I guess it's like an insecurity of mine I would say so I'm um, yeah wearing these flattering shorts today but yeah I've noticed I've been gaining a little bit I actually jumped on the scales just out of curiosity because I remembered that my mum has scales in her bathrooms I don't go off the weight as like a progress indication or anything on scales because obviously the scales are just one total mass which is like your water your body fat your muscle mass and everything all combined and I actually wasn't as heavy as I thought I was and um I noticed for me personally which is again different for everyone I actually tend to lose a bit of weight when I'm being unhealthy because I lose my muscle and I am blessed that I don't gain body fat that quickly and that easily if I'm eating like bad food and that sort of thing but yeah I'm actually a bit lighter than I was when I was training and coaching and everything at PLC and I know that's because my body composition has like sort of gone the opposite way and my muscle mass has gone down and my body fat's gone up obviously I can't tell that with the home scale and that's why I love the body scans at the gym but yeah I just jumped on out of curiosity so a little bit lighter than usual so I know I need to get back into some strength training and yeah I'm going to do a workout right now which is the point of this very long ramble so I wrote this workout for myself just because I thought it'd be fun it's like a hundred rep workout I don't know I think I saw some hundred rep challenges on Instagram and I was like oh that's cool might write my own write my own like what day is it it's Wednesday today I think I wrote it on like Sunday night or something and then I never did it because I wasn't motivated <laughs> but now I'm gonna do it and I will share it with you all afterwards but I'm gonna go down to my garage 
and do it. The lighting's not that great, so I'm sorry if this time lapse is really bad, but I'll talk to you about it when I'm done. Okay guys, this is me after one round, which took me off the music. It took me seven minutes with little breaks because I, my phone kept locking. I didn't think to like write it down on paper so I wouldn't have to keep checking what exercises I had written down, but I think I can remember it for the next round. So as I was doing that round, I was trying to think about what, how I'm going to do the workout. If I'm going to do it like a 20 minute AM wrap, so I just go until I get to 20 minutes. Or I just do like a set number of rounds, maybe four, four rounds. Well, I think I might do a set number of rounds. I'm going to have like a minute break in between. Half a minute's already gone. And then I'm going to go again. So I'm just going to do the same thing three more times. And I'll come back. I'm not having a break between any of the exercises, only between rounds when I've done the whole thing. Also, this is my watch after. Whew. Wow, if it focuses. This is my watch after one round. Okay, I've had like two minutes break now. <laughs> so I'm gonna get back into it. See you soon. Whoa, 
English. <laughs> I'm literally so dead. I'm like shaking. Oh my god, look at my hand. <laughs> anyway, I only ended up doing three rounds because I was starting to feel a little bit lightheaded. Obviously, I'm training with the door closed. It's not that hot, to be honest, today, which is good. Like, I'm just sweating from the actual workout. It's not really that hot, but I started feeling lightheaded because I probably haven't had enough to eat. Considering how hard I was pushing myself and considering how it worked out in like four weeks. I've done one, one workout in four weeks. Besides walks and yoga, which isn't very intense. Definitely don't discount them as like not being workouts. I just, you know, I have not done anything that intense. So I'll show you my Apple Watch. I freaking love having an Apple Watch. How do I focus it? Okay, this is where we're at, ladies and gents. 32 minutes, 375 calories. And that, as you will see, and as you would have seen, was those exercises are not very hard exercises. And um, yeah, it just goes to show you can literally make anything hard. I just made sure I push myself for the whole time, in between, like for the whole round and tried not to stop. In the last round, I definitely did stop a couple of times between exercises to catch my breath because damn, putting those half burpees in every second exercise, genius because it's like keeps the workout really high intensity even though the in-between exercises are like strength training exercises so yeah as I was thinking as I was doing the workout I was thinking about different um suggestions and modifications that I can give you guys so you'll notice that that workout was pretty upper body dominant like as well as being like a hit workout and like cardio um and that's because I have really bad knees and can't put any weight or pressure or like bouncing on my knees. So I would definitely recommend if you don't have any weights at all, you'll notice I was using a dumbbell. It's like a six kilo dumbbell. Um, if you don't have any weights, change out the bicep curls and the shoulder raises at the end for like squat explodes or like squat jumps or body weight squats or squats with a weight. If you can find literally like a pile of books or something to hold in your hand or something like that. That would be really good and or you could just do like if you have no weights nothing to use just do body weight squats and then body weight lunges as those last two exercises and at the start you'll notice i regressed the push-ups i did my first round of push-ups on my toes but then the last two i did on my knees because i can do them way faster on my knees and it was a struggle to do them on my toes so yeah also the half burpees the reason i do half burpees is again because of my knees because when you to a full burpee obviously when you jump your feet back in and then stand up that's like putting a lot of pressure on my knees so I find it easier to do half burpees it's not as um what's the word like intense on my knees but definitely if you want to challenge yourself do full burpees so chest all the way to the ground for that part as well but yeah I'll leave the exercises and the workout in the description below but yeah three rounds took me half an hour um first round going pretty intense and then the second two um giving myself little tiny breaks to catch my breath when i needed but yeah that's my workout update progress i'm gonna go make myself a smoothie and some lunch because it's like 1 30 now okay for lunch we're having a banana protein smoothie delish just um lux vanilla protein because that was the best flavor that i had to choose from to go with banana and then a banana in honey and milk and ice of course as well i really want to get um like a really good salted caramel protein i know the lux one is really good but i'm also eyeing off the new naked harvest ones i don't think they have a salted caramel one yet but they just announced the strawberries and cream one and i really want to try that anyway lunch is served it's leftover spaghetti bolognese from the other night, it's got some hidden veggies. Go mum, what a ledge. There's like zucchini. You can see that green stuff and mushroom in there. And then the gluten-free spaghetti on the bottom. I'm going to put some cheese on. Actually, I feel like that needs a bit longer. Ooh, I hate when you get sprayed with that condensation stuff on the lid. Okay. Oh. We're going again. Going to eat my lunch and be super productive now because that's the other reason I knew I wanted to work out during the day so I could be productive for as long as possible for the rest of the day because it always just makes you feel so productive especially when you're in active work and you've already done the workout you just feel 
and I leave my shoes on because it feels like I'm working because like you wouldn't usually wear shoes when you're in home so anyway I'm gonna set up my little station here and edit my Q&A which is going out tomorrow so you would have already seen that and then do some other stuff as well couple of hours it is now four o'clock on the top and I have my oh, I'm doing my thumbnail right now actually I don't know how I feel about this font because I love the font itself but for some reason it makes the Q and the A look like they're not in line and the font doesn't have an and symbol so I had to like make a different one which obviously now I have to make it look like it's intentionally not the same font but now they just like all look out of line and I don't know how I feel about it. This is really cool though. I'm using PicMonkey by the way, which I think I updated you about on Instagram, but I haven't updated you on here about it. It's really cool and I love playing around with it. So I've got my Q&A in the process of uploading. It's got 10 minutes left and I'm going to schedule it for tomorrow. And while I was doing this, I was also writing myself, well, not me, I was writing um, letters to my grandparents, which I thought... This is like Kiki K note paper. It's actually my sister's because I couldn't find my really nice one of these. It's just a really beautiful size and they have like really beautiful designs in them. I chose one that was like a bit easier to read for their old eyes. So it has like actual lined paper in the middle. <laughs> but yeah, I um, wanted to give them a bit of a life update because obviously there's been a lot happening and I could definitely call both of them. At the moment, I just have two granddads. So like one from each side of the family because my grand mars have both passed away so um yeah i'm gonna write a letter to each of them my pop and my pa um just giving them a life update i could call them on the phone like i they have their phones and like i have their phone number but i thought it'd be a nice thing to do because they're obviously both old people and they like always grew up with like snail mail and like getting letters in the mail so i thought it'd be nice because i used to do it when i was a little kid i used to write them letters and put stickers on it and stuff like that so yeah i was writing one and then my hand got sore so i took a break to do the thumbnail on my computer and now i still have to do the other one for my other grandpa but it's four o'clock like i said which is walk time for me usually i like to start my walk at 4 30 um but i want to go and check my po box first before the post office shops do they shut up five? I hope so. Yeah, because if I have any parcels, then I'll have to make sure the post office is still open. So I'm going to do that first. But I'm obviously going to need to get a shirt and pack up my stuff from lunch and all that. So I'm going to do it all in the one hit and come back to this letter writing and like finish scheduling my video when I get back from my walk. So I need to clean up the kitchen. And I'm just going to wear this and put a t-shirt on over the top and go for a walk along the water. So I usually go for... Uh, I try and go for an hour, usually a bit over, so if I start at 4.30, 5.30 is usually when the starts, sun starts to go down, so if I finish it anywhere between 5.30 and 6, that's usually a really good, nice walk, and I'm walking while the sun's setting, which is really nice too, so I'm going to go off and do those few things that I have to do. Hey guys, so I am back from my walk now and I had dinner and everything. It's like eight o'clock or something like that. So it's been a little while. And I got some mail when obviously I was at the PO box and there was also a package at the door when I left. Oh my gosh, I was just peeking at my face a little bit. I didn't even realize. Excuse the redness. I have the most sensitive skin, I always get so red. Okay, so I know what this parcel is which is super exciting. It is from TTP Activewear. Opening, oh yes, 
to be honest I couldn't remember what color I chose when um I was speaking to the TTP team to be honest because um like Australia Post and like mail is taking so long I can't actually remember I have this box here and like obviously I can see who it's from and I have a list and like keep track of all the brands that like ask to send things or like ask for posts and stuff like that and not to sound on myself like that happens all the time like it doesn't but I just like kept track because the mail has been taking so long to get to everywhere like it's just taking extra long so I'm like forgetting what I'm expecting and like what is coming when and that sort of thing so ooh, tissue paper love me some good oh no way oh yes ooh, wow Oh my gosh wow um I got a gluten-free mac and cheese I've never even had mac and cheese before because obviously I'm celiac that is so cool so I'm gonna chill out for a bit oh, whoops. and I need to finish writing the letter to my grandpa and I'll post those off tomorrow and just plan out my day for tomorrow and I'll probably see you guys in the morning Hey guys, editing Ellie here. I'm actually gonna end this vlog here and use the rest of the footage from the next day in a new vlog because obviously it's already 20 minutes long. So that's why I said see you tomorrow, but I'm actually gonna include that in the next video where I do end up posting the letters to my grandparents and I try that mac and cheese that I got sent and all of that good stuff. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll have like almost like a part two um, to this vlog coming very soon. See ya!